Congratulations, young man. How do you feel? Pretty daggone good. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Excellent. Good. Young man, you made a, you say you never had a Chicago dog. Now will you promise me to have I'll, a I'll get one. I'll for sure try one. There you go. All right. Yeah. Hey, look, Chicago is known for being just so futile and passionate. Our record goes back to 1942 for half of Please tell me you're going to end the misery for us. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try my best to, um, you know, that's, my goal isn't to, you know, break those records, uh, my goal is to, to get as far into February as I can, that's the, that's the point of playing football, um, is to win championships, that's the reason why I play, and so, uh, you know, you, you, you get far enough in February, you know, you, you tend to, you know, you tend to break records, you tend to be able to, you know, Hit self milestones, but that's not what I'm, you know, necessarily playing for. Hey, you get to play alongside a guy like Romo Dunze. It's pretty sick. I got to play against him. Uh, wasn't that good. Uh, I didn't enjoy it, to be honest with you. Uh, but now to be able to be his teammate, um, I'm pretty excited um, to be able to throw the ball to him. Uh, he gets to do what he did to, you know, our defense to, to, to other defenses now. So I'm excited. Hey, what would you? Real quick, as someone who has the honor of photographing you at the Cotton Bowl. Yeah, um, I've grown, I would say, in my two years at, at USC tremendously. Um, as a leader, I would say, is the biggest one. Being able to adapt, uh, be the same guy every single day, uh, no matter how, you know, whether I got injured, uh, no matter whether uh, it was a 75 season, being able to walk into the facility, be the same guy, be the same leader. Uh, same human, um, you know, when I'm in there, but also when I'm leaving um, is, is, is something that I learned and, uh, you know, really excited to implement, but also ready to adapt to whatever team needs. Caleb, knowing where you are right now sitting here, what would you say to little Caleb that started in flag? Uh, <laughs> I would say um, you've, you, you've hit one milestone um, and you've been able to knock off a few so far. Um, but you got a few more left. Keep going. Um, keep striving for it and go get it. Hey, we'll talk about being uh, the same guy all the time. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about being unapologetically you? Yeah. The individual who does some things on camera and all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I, when I look into the mirror, when I wake up around 7 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, when I look into the mirror, I know who that guy is. I love that guy. Um, I treat the guy with respect, um, just like I do any other, you know, human around me, um, and 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 that goes a long way for myself. Um, that's why I am who I am. Um, I do what I do, um, and I, I treat myself the way that I do because, you know, I I, I know who that guy is. I love that guy, um, and 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 I'm gonna treat that guy just as you know that guy was somebody else um, that just met me, walked into the room with you know one of my best friends, um, and so. Um, that's 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 why I'm so unapologetic. I'm hey, Kevin, unapologetic about who I am. Kevin, what are the biggest lessons that you learned from playing under Coach Mitchell Riley these past few years? Yeah, um, that that the team goes as the QB goes. Um, and another big thing was that uh, you know, on OK teams nobody leads. On good teams, the coaches lead. On the great teams and elite teams, that players lead. So. Um, you know, something that he, you know, he and him and, 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 and TK um, instilled in me, something that, you know, I'll always remember and take with me. What has sold you on the Bears? What has sold you on the Bears so far? What has sold me? Yeah. Um, I would say you can tell they want to win uh, from all the way up top to the executives, all the way down to, you know, uh, the equipment staff that get us all geared up for game days and things like that. Um, they all want to win, um, and that's exciting to go into. And then also, you know that you know you know the fans are, are ready and rowdy, um, and, and and I can't wait for that. That's something that, that I'm excited for. I'm ready for, and uh, ready to get the thing going. Yeah. 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 Um, because I've been I've been striving and reaching for this moment um, to be the number one pick, um, and so I'm, I'm I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be on this team. You know, we got a we got a we got a pretty good team, um, and you just got to go in. You got to work. You got to you got to strive for greatness. Set your goals high, um, and then uh, you know do all the little things in between 
uh, because all little things matter at the end of the day. Hey, Time for two more. I'll drive this for five quarterbacks four in the top ten, also yep. 14 offensive players in a row. What's the mean to be a part of that? What's the say about the draft class? It's a special draft class. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's a lot of yeah. explosive players that went, a lot of powerful players. My teammate, my one of my one of my good friends, dearest friends, uh, Olu Fashanu, I believe, went to the Jets. We got Roma Dunze. Um, you know, I'm 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 excited. Um, all the all the QBs that went um, after me. Um, you know, Jaden went right after Drake. Um, I believe Penix went eight. Uh, Bo Nix went uh, 14th or 12 to the Denver, um, and so I, you know, it's it's a it's an awesome, awesome, you know, awesome draft class. Got great guys in it, um, and you know, excited for everybody's future. Hey, Kevin, what if the Pac-12 is closing out with so many great quarterbacks going high like this? It shows. It shows the last year of the Pac-12 uh, was a really good year for us, um, and 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 it was a good way to close out. Uh, the Pac-12. Um, it's, it's, you know, I'm blessed and honored to be able to play in a league that, that Reggie Bush played in and, you know, all these special players and, and legendary players, Troy, and I can go on a list of just USC players, but also all the other players that came out of all these other schools in the Pac-12. So honored, blessed to be the last year and honored and blessed to, to, to be able to, you know, share the podium and, and stadium or sta stage. Uh, you know, with a bunch of guys um, that, that were a part of it. Congratulations. Dub, baby. Go Bears. <laughs>